Good evening, gamers, and welcome to Capping Television. Tonight, we are looking at the Oz Fortress Season 29 Open Semi-Finals, the Bronze Match. Oh, my name is the Lampshade 22, and with me tonight, I have Mikau again. How you doing, mate? Oh, it's uh, it's been such a long time, so I, I, I just... Wow. Uh, I'm doing well. I hope everyone in the chat is doing well as well. And uh, we have quite the game for you guys tonight. Should be a good one. Yeah, so tonight we are looking at From Gosford versus Team Weezer. Two uh, fairly, fairly pounding teams for the Open Division. Um, I might, uh, might let you run me through the, the From Gosford roster before I start spouting sweet nothings. Yeah, so we have Amiss and Pub on the two scout roles. We have Fail Rail. One name that we haven't seen in Yoinks on the pocket roll. We have Snobble on the Roma, Nast on Demoman, and Gronk on the Medicinal Man. So lots of old players here, and uh, I'm curious to see how they've kept up with the times. They've shown that they have a lot of a you know a lot of a ability in the regular season, uh, but let's see if they're able to perform when it counts. When everything's on the line for both of these teams, of course, so the team that loses. Uh, tonight we'll have their season a cut just uh, one week shorter than they probably would like and they'll be taking home that third place badge and they won't have a, even an opportunity to get the, that illustrious first place badge yeah. so Team Weezer looks like they have uh, Dogo or Dogo and Chani on scouts and then on soldiers they have Berto and Crypto though they might use Fat Pizza tonight we'll have to see and uh, on Demo Man, they have Himbo. And on the Medic class, they have Kurt. So, like you said, I mean, there's a lot of old names on the other team. There's uh, one that should be recognizable to, to some on this one. Crypto's been around for, for Yonks. But for the rest of them, it's more or less their first season. Um, we do see uh, Dogo and Chani. They both come from Overwatch, I believe. I know Chani also played a bit of uh, CS in a semi professional setting. So a bit of, I mean, it's not like it's their first time playing FPSs, but the first time playing TF2 for quite a lot of them, and to come through to this point alone in your first season is pretty big. So definitely, you know, the up-and-comers to keep an eye on. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the old, old guard versus the new up-and-comers. And yeah, just, just building upon what you said there, uh, Lampshade, it's it's really quite a feat, you know, in their first season to, to be able to make it this far because... You know, Team Fortress 2, you know, it even has team in the name. You do need some degree of coordination and teamwork. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, coming from other games and just having that cohesion, that teamwork right out of the gate is is really quite impressive, you know, especially for, you know, players who are new to this kind of game. You know, Overwatch might have a similarity, CSGO as well. But uh, nothing's like TF2, I can tell you that much. So to come, at, come in with the, you know everything going for them they've made it this far let's see if they're able to make it uh, one step further absolutely and uh just talking about maps real quick so the uh this being playoffs it is a best of three the bands were gullywash villa snakewater granary um that was uh in order of gosford weezer gosford weezer and then pick wise gosford picked metalworks as the first map weezer picked process as the second and the tiebreaker gosford picked sunshine so we are looking at metalworks first um uh, i mean it's an older map but uh it hasn't really seen much play in oz fortress so i don't think there's really going to be a major advantage to either team like experience wise but we do know that Gosford have performed fairly well on this map previously, including in the Week 3 match against these teams, where I believe they took it 6-1. Um, one of the, the only losses on Team Weezer uh, in the season, I believe. So, I don't know. How do you feel like this one will go? Honestly, I think it's going to come down to whichever combo performs, uh, you know, when it, when it matters. Metalworks is such a map that that's so choke-heavy, and really requires a lot of coordination just to get in the door that uh it's really going to depend on the coordination of the spam and just you know uh making the most of these opportunities that each team will present the other and uh yeah just all about capitalizing on the other team's mistakes metalworks like you like you were saying hasn't seen a lot of play in oz fortress over the years uh it is a uh 
quite a known map in other regions. Uh, the one that comes to mind uh, is is in North America. That's uh, been played quite quite a lot over there. Uh, but here in uh, No Man's Land, it's uh, it's one of the newer maps. Uh, but certainly, these teams have had all season to uh, work it out, and they did play it in the regular season in week three. And uh, going from those results, uh, Gosford are in a good spot to take this first map, you know, with that convincing victory. But that, then again, that was week three. This is week nine in the season, so they've had lots of time to to work on it and fix the team cohesion problems that may or may not have caused them to lose that game. And I'm very, very curious to see if. The adjustments, if any, uh, are going to be enough to really topple Gosford here on this first map and really come out of the gates running. Yeah, I uh, I, I should probably uh, mention that the, I have a, a tenuous connection. I did some very minor mentoring for Weezer when they were still pretty fresh, um, but I stepped away for most of the season, so I'm not too biased. I'm not too biased, but I will admit a little, and I reckon they're going to take it. Uh, I reckon they're going to take it like five two or something. You know. <laughs> You think it's going to go that quickly? I, I think there'll be fast rounds. Uh, it being open, I, I don't want to sound, you know, too elitist, but uh, it being open, I feel like rounds sort of are, are plenty. There's a lot of stuff going on because there's not, you know, as has standard a, a play as we would normally see in, like, the, the higher divisions where sort of everyone knows exactly what's going on at all times. So, yeah, I, I do feel like there'll be a lot of rounds happening, and uh, I feel like it'll be a lot of fun to watch. It certainly will keep us on our toes, that's for sure. Uh, but you know, going off that, you know, sometimes it is, it is those unorthodox plays that the the more experienced players like are sort of like, oh, why is he why is he doing that, you know? But it's those opportunistic plays that can really open up the game. And you know, between these two teams, where the history, uh, you know, isn't in uh, isn't really in the favor of Team Weezer, it, I think. You know, making those unorthodox plays and really capitalizing off those opportunities is what's going to allow them to really make an impact on this first map and just carry that momentum throughout the entire series. But I do believe that we are heading towards the first mid, Snazzy. I think we are. They seem to have made a mistake with the config, but we'll see if that holds them up. This is the beginning of the first map. This is the best of three. Oz Fortress Season 29 Open Semi Final. Team Weezer. From Gosford, take it away, Mikael. Yes, we see both Zimmerman arriving pretty much at the same time, and actually Fail Rail going in for a massive bomb. He's actually not able to really get anything, but he's created so much space for his team. Now the second soldier of uh, Snobble is making a lot of room, and it, just the entire team Weezer are stuck in this uh, in the garage. But the the two soldier bombs really haven't worked. Hub goes down to a you know a very very nice scatter shot from Doggo. He's going to trade his life out, but the post fight actually going in the favor. Of, uh, of, uh, of from Gosford, so yeah, that was a, a very interesting mid. You know, it certainly looked like after the two soldiers really weren't able to get anything except a whole lot of space. That from Gosford are on the back foot, especially after uh, Dora getting those three kills. Uh, but it just wasn't enough, and we see that from Gosford are going to be pushing to the second point, Snazzy. Yeah, man. With uh, with losing so many players there as well, like Metalworks, you can do a lot with the the connectors from mid to second because they're kind of hard to push. They're really choky, um, but losing all of your players there really puts you on the back foot, and they're definitely stuck at last here with full disab. They do have the heavy, but the ubers come through. Yeah, Nast and uh, Miz already on that heavy. The subject gun hasn't been spotted yet. It's actually gonna pick up a solo kill. This isn't really the cleanest push from uh, from Gosford. And look, uh, we have a medic duel going. Kurt's going to be on top of that one. Miz is just trying to find something. He gets with the winger, is able to get Himbo, but he's going to eat a massive rock to the face. Nice shot there from Crypto. And that's going to be a failed last push from uh, Gosford. Or from, from Gosford, I should be saying. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to see a, a nice reset. Uh, now this is going to pick up a nice kill onto Crypto to sort of, uh, sort of stop the aggression. And I think after... That whole Kafal uh, team Weezer are just going to be content to sit on their last, set up this last hold yet again. They have uh, the heavy off class there with the Brass Beast, and they're just going to be grinding up this Uber in this even Uber situation. Yeah, it's kind of crushing if you're um, Weezer there, because Kurt got that Uber sword to get himself uh, a full Uber and uh, potentially, you know, save the last if anything was happening. But players were really low, but he still had to use on that point to prevent it from being capped. Um, 
it just kind of puts him in a bad spot. And then with uh, Crypto dying to Nas there, he was sort of chasing Nas to was very, very low. But uh, Nas just sort of got the better of him with uh, the sticky traps, I believe. And uh, it's just, it's definitely enough to keep them in here. And we're seeing sort of like a even Uber's stalemate. You know, Metal well, Works definitely rail. could last. There goes Fail Rail. He's going to jump right into the heavy. He gets one nice rocket onto Kurt, but it isn't going to be enough to force that Uber. So we are going to see the sack game sort of start out from here. Crypto's going to go in and try and find something. He gets a nice rocket onto Gronk as well, bringing Gronk down to 50 health. But uh, he's just going to use that overpowered medic regen and just get all of his health back. Uh, Snobble sacking in again for the counter sack. And yeah, just jumping into a scout and a brass beast heavy. Probably not the smartest idea, but you know, you have to make something happen. Yeah, man, absolutely. And we do see Bert sort of forwarding into the team there, but uh, getting absolutely wiped out. Probably a counter sack of sorts, but his spawn's pretty late now, and that's going to put his team on a bit of a gimp, and it looks They're like going. the push is coming through. Yeah, the, the Ubers have now been traded by both teams. I think <laughs> Miss and uh, Gronk are just going to hightail it out of there, just getting the Uber force off. And maybe they're going to try and build up a slight advantage. I, I don't know if like 5% is really enough to push off. Um, but, you know, a really, really solid hold there from uh, from Team Weezer. Just not really giving into the pressure, not making any mistakes. Because when, if you lose the first round in a best of three series, it's definitely going to affect you, uh, you know, both... Yeah, psychologically, and just really put you on the back foot in general. Yeah, and uh, with the, with no time limit being on the map at the moment, we should probably be keeping an eye on how long this runs ourselves. But uh, it's it's no real pressure yet. I mean, it can't have been more than what five minutes. Um, but we'll we'll definitely have to see what happens. I mean, that was a really good Uber from Team Weezer, just sort of like holding it really late and then using on the heavy. Especially yeah, he didn't given... drop any players. Yeah, exactly. No one got dropped, and uh, the Ubers just kind of got traded. I'm not really sure, like you said, what uh, what Gosford's plan there was, because they just sort of used him. Yeah, they didn't really have really, really any real advantage to push in. Pop is now actually is going to try and take this 1v1 uh, against Smelly the Scout, uh, but he's going to die to uh, some rockets to the face, and I think, I hope, that uh, from Gosford actually try some off-classing. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see what they really want to come up on. I think Sniper's a good pick, and they have come up on Sniper. So yeah, um, coming up on Sniper here is definitely a good, good op. Uh, I think it's a pretty good last for it, because you can just sort of like peek that shutter door and you have a pretty wide angle. Or if you go round to the far left side if you're attacking, that's a pretty good angle. Even the far right, like you can just sort of get these great angles as long as there's someone there to protect you. Uh, and there we, we go. You see a fat shot onto the de demo man, dude. That is big. That is the, the push pull advantage they need. Crypto is gonna uh, make uh, the Uber just a little bit worse for from Gosford, but three picks and Doggo is only at eight health. This is looking pretty dire for Team Weezer. The heavy goes down. Uh, uh, Fail Rail is just sitting there on that point. He gets the scout as well, and I don't think anyone's gonna be able to really contest that one. And that is the first round off a huge, huge headshot. Uh, from Pub, just sniping that demo man. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a huge, huge play to get that um, to get that headshot and force the push. But I think they stuffed up the config and ran the uh, the scrim config, which sort of reset it. So with one round up and probably about. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe yeah, about 25 minutes. I think that was a six-minute round. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Tell me about this mid, Mika. Yeah, so Nas getting there quite a bit earlier than Himbo. Uh, getting a nice sticky across onto the enemy demo man. And again, we see from Gosford going aggressive with their soldiers yet again. But uh, Failro's going to get end his life very, uh, very early. As is a snobble. So that's both soldiers now down. Now the soldier re-aggression, and he's able to get the demo man that's Nas going down, so a nice, nice bomb there from Crypto. And that's going to be the second mid in favor of Team Weasel, as from Gosford are just going back to Gosford, it would seem, all the way back to their second, and potentially, with this continued pressure, all the way back to their last, Nazi. Yeah, I think Weezer's played this perfectly, getting that early aggression in to stop them from being able to hold this second area. Because if they got caught in those connectors, man, they would just be absolutely shafted. Huge bomb out of Crypto there to really give them that mid. 
for fail rail he's very very close and himbo dropping down to 50 hp doggo as well down to 30 hp um but crypto is on the sneaky frenchman spy i'm not quite sure where he is at the moment uh but he is on that sneaky class actually see him now he's just making his way over the bridge into a lobby just trying to find an, an entry angle it is it is even ubers uh, once again but this time the shoes on the other foot it's now from gosford holding last and uh you know the uh team weezer immediately going for the off class yeah and crypto doing something vaguely unusual actually running the stock invis watch he's, oh, he's right going. behind he's Gronk. going he's, he's got, got him one. wow that is they just had absolutely no anticipation for that and then the uber's going to come in but i think they've rushed a bit they've already dropped doggo in that uber haven't been able to find too many other frags looks like chani's getting some time on the point and that's all you need just stand on the point and the round is yours that's now 1-1 one, one. uh and we're all tied up here and heading towards this third mid crypto with so much impact in that round man he gave them the mid with that huge bomb onto the mid and the demo man did so much damage killing the demo and then with that spy play on last dropping the uber on gronk just such huge impact in that round man yeah, we've got to go to mid number three. Both demo men arriving relatively at the same time. Let's see if they're going to opt for a different strategy. Looks like uh, from Gosford not being as aggressive with their soldiers. Crypto actually going to be the first one to die. He's going to get absolutely pummeled by both scouts and the demo man. And now we see uh, Snobble. He's raining some havoc down. That's the medic going down. That's Kurt going down. Himbo going down. Pub's going to fall to the scattergun of Doggo. Uh, but looks like uh, going for the cheeky market gun. It's not going to work. Now it's going to uh, have a nice pipe on Tiberto. Doggo goes down. And that is a very convincing mid for, for Gosford there. Yeah, Gosford really played the passive mid super, super well there, just waiting for that one soldier to come into them. And then once they had that tangible advantage, they sort of aggressed as a team. Uh, very unfortunate to lose a scout early, and I did wonder if it might swing back the other way, but they just held that aggression on, uh, and killing Kurt super early was really, really good for them. So they have about a 50% urban advantage and it looks like they're wasting no time just going through this main entrance They use pretty early, but Nas isn't able to get that sticky jump off There he goes, trying to take as much space as he can, putting loads of pressure on him But Pub's gonna win the one we're running against Dog on the point and that is a very quick uh, answer So it's now 2-1 to Team Gosford Yeah, big big round out of uh, Gosford there, really showing their uh their ability to sort of play together and just get those frags uh, like i said just a huge mid from them being able to play it near perfectly um maybe that's the experience coming into play but we'll have to see how it goes yeah so this third mid nas arriving a lot earlier than himbo once again getting a nice sticky up and again the soldiers that's yes, snobble getting a very very early pick onto uh, crypto so that's a lot of firepower now down. Uh, looks like Chani's going to go down as well. Berto just stuck in the air. He's going to fall to the scattergun of Pub. And that is a very, very convincing mid. And Miss is going to even get Himbo. And Pub is still alive. He's right in the enemy face. He's going for another one. He's bloodthirsty. He wants that medic kill. He wants the juicy medic frag. But can he get it? Yes, he can. Pub gets another nice scattergun shot. Is Crypto going to be able to avenge his medic? No. Pub is able to survive on just 14 HP. 14 Harry Potters is definitely not many. It was so, so close there. Kurt nearly getting out by the skin of his teeth, which might have held this last. But with Kurt only just spawning and the push coming through. Yeah, they're wasting no time, Snazzy. That's the heavy going down. Crypto was able to get a nice kill on the fail rail, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Actually, uh, it's, it's even numbers at the moment. Doggo's going to go down. Miss is surviving for so long, Snazzy. And that's going to be an easy third round for... For Gosford. Yeah, Gosford taking this up now. They're up two rounds, which is definitely a comfortable advantage, especially this early into a, into a map. We'll just have to see they're if they're able halfway to use yet. that momentum. Yeah. I mean, maybe my uh, prediction might have been wrong, Mikael. But yeah, I might, think Weezer can turn around way, on actually. this mid. <laughs> it might be the role reversal. But Nast, again, he's arriving faster than him, but I don't know if that's actually providing them you know, the, a bit of, of an edge that they need to really make this mid work for them. Crypto is going to go down again very early. Pub and Nast picking up the credit for that kill. Fail Rail just trying to wait for an arrow to see if he's able to get something. And just you just, just see the positional advantage that from Gosford have complete and utter control of this midpoint, even just right from the start. 
Yeah, I think Nas getting there early is doing so much damage to uh, Weezer's chances of being able to, like, take that high ground and actually do something with it. And we do see them, like, attempting to hold second here with the Uber, but I think they're still down two players and they're going to have to leave. So oh, that's no, going to put him in a bad caught. spot here, too. Is he going to be able to pick up the sword? They actually trade, and the Uber gets forced. Kurt forced to use his Uber to save save his scout this is not good but the uber of course does come out again from gronk so he's going to counter pop but with the demo man and scout down for team weasel this thing this is looking bad and this is looking bad already crypto is able to get gronk so that's going to be no heals for team, the team from gosford miss is right in the enemy combo's face so despite being on 20 health he's going to die it's the uh, scout again of chani and yeah just absolute chaos on this uh, this last point, uh, Snobble doing a whole lot of damage, but it's not going to be enough. Now it's Fail Rail going in. He's not going to find anything. Dogger gets credit for that one. He's now on a 2k. And yeah, just uh, from Gosford rushing that a little bit, just unable to really compose themselves. And just, I think, a bit too trigger happy on the, the accelerator there, Snazzy. Yeah, I mean, when you get forced there, I sort of feel like they should have just played the second and left it that way. We do actually see a similar sort of thing happening here, where uh, Weezer are getting very aggressive on second and they're going to get pushed out as well. Same sort of deal, where it's like, maybe just commit to your losses and uh, collect like a tangible advantage before you push. The spawns coming through with the two scouts, uh, Doggo and Chani were just able to sort of delete things one by one. The only thing that is really good for Gosford here is they did kill Kurt in like the late stages of that fight, which gives them this huge, huge 40 ad. Yeah, and they're going to be wasting no time going straight into it. Now has actually been separated from his medic. He's able to be uh, caught up there. The Foul Rail getting the kill onto Chani on the heavy class, and that's going to be an easy fourth round for uh, for team from Gosford and that is quite convincing. They seem to be in utter domination right now, showing that form from earlier in the season. Yeah, I mean this was uh this was Gosford's pick and I think they definitely know the numbers for it. Nast obviously with the faster rollout to most of these mids and including this one is just giving them so much pressure on middle. Yeah, Nast again providing that early pressure gets a nice sticky on the Kurt, so Kurt's gonna be quite weak. Crypto again going down super early. Uh, but Berto is able to get the, uh, the trade on the fail route, but he's going to lose out to the Skedagon of Pub. Uh, Miz getting a nice kill on the Chani there as well, but it looks like uh, Team Weezer are actually having somewhat of a chance. Kurt, he's actually going to eat an arrow from Gronk. He survived the scout, but the across mid arrow is going to claim the life of that medic. And now it's just Gronk and Goss and um, Snobble and Nast. And, and Snobble's actually going to pick up the Demo Man as well, so that... That even though they won the midpoint, like, on paper, I don't think they're actually in the position that they want to be, Snazzy. Yeah, full diss ahead. Kurt's kind of stuck on his own. He lost one of his scouts there. Um, and it looks like uh, Gosford are going to be able to repush, but they get forced. Doggo and Crypto in very, very deep, forcing that med in that second connector. They're not getting connector. anything. That's they're not huge. getting anything. Miss is, uh, Miss is actually gonna go, go, uh, going to go down in that Uber. Fail Rail is going to get pick up the trade kill onto Crypto. Uh, Doggo is now eventually going to fall, just uh, chilling behind enemy lines. But what a great force from Team Weezer, and what <laughs> what a big play to stop the, the snowball from go advancing any further. Yeah, definitely a huge, huge force getting there. I mean... Being able to force Gronk in that second connector, this is what I was talking about with Metalworks. It's so easy to sort of, if you have the ability, hold them in there and cause them so much grief. And getting that force is really going to give them the edge they need here with 30 ad. Yeah, well, they, they've used it very, very early in Garage. Uh, let's see if they're able to really get anything. They get the kill onto Pub, but I think that's about it. Doggo's going to pick up a kill onto Snobble, not before uh, Berto goes down. Uh, so that's a two for one trade and they will get the midpoint as well, but Gronk is on this 100% uber So if if Team Weezer are unaware of this, it looks like they actually are gonna back out of Garage uh, This this could be a, a game of leapfrog and I think we're starting to see both teams sort of get into a rhythm But as the time starts to keeps ticking down, I think we're about uh, With about uh, just over 10 minutes remaining in this first map and there's a, there's a big score deficit for Team Weezer to make up, as we see, uh, looks like from Gosford are actually making their way through Valley. The a Force attempt comes in, Crypto is able to get that Force, and it looks like uh, Team Weezer are just going to hightail it out of their Doggo. Just, uh, actually Doggo's going to have a little peek, but uh, he's going to just run 
his uh, little scout legs back to his team. And uh, yeah, from Gosford are only able to take this midpoint and not really get anything else. Yeah, another big, big force out of Crypto there. Getting that one there is really good for his team and now they're able to re-push straight back into this middle. Yeah, the game of Leapfrog has begun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and yeah, I think it's just going to be Uber for mid, Uber for mid, Uber for mid. But it looks like uh, Team Weezer are actually going a lot uh, more aggressive. It's now, they've now traded both soldiers on both teams. That's that's quite quite a music. Pub's actually going to go down. He was a bit overextended and just caught on the midpoint. So that's our three-player advantage, and this could be enough to make, try and make something happen. They haven't really spotted the trap on the main doorway just yet. Oh, you deads, and it's not going to do anything. So, uh, yeah, well played from Team Weezer. A bit lucky there with the trap, but they're able to take the second point and now sort of just set up for last. And fail rails on heavy, even though they have uber advantage. I don't I don't know what's going on. I. I think they must not know about that ad because they really could have minced Weezer on second there, man. Absolutely just minced them. They could have used straight through. But uh, instead, they're opting to hold this last. They might just be happy with their three round advantage. I mean, it definitely something you can be happy with. Like you said, probably around about 10 minutes or so, a bit less uh, left in this game. So I'm not really sure what their plan is here. And I think they have done a good job of turtling this last. They've got the sentry, they have the heavy with Brass Beard. I mean, the Uber's going to come through very shortly, so we'll just have to see how the fight goes. I don't know even know if the Uber's going to come in very shortly, because it is now even Ubers. Uh, and I don't think Team Wings are going to make the same mistake that uh, from uh, from Gosford did, uh, you know, at the start of this match, and just really walk in all guns blazing with the Uber advantage. But they need to find some kind of opening to get a stack in, or just something to happen. With the Brass Beast Heavy, with that 7 play player in that level 3 sentry gun, it's going to be a hard hole to crack. So they're just trying to have to work this way. It looks like Crypto is able to spam out the sentry gun, so that's step one. That's 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 something. And now I need to just find some kind of opening to really just go for a massive play, trying to get a pick, but it looks like he's going to get absolutely denied by basically the entire team dying to that Brass Beast from Fail Rail. And yeah, just, they're not able to, to really find an opening. Gronk does go down to uh, about 50 health, so Crypto was able to get a nice rocket off, but I don't think it was quite enough to really uh, force anything out of uh, from Gosford. Yeah, Crypto had a really, really bold peak on that far right side attacking-wise. Um, he was just able to like peek himself in. Took a lot of damage, but uh, not quite enough to kill him. Uh, and spam out that gun, but uh, his sack was just very unfortunate. We do see him come up on Sniper though with a very oh, big peek Oh in my the goodness, mid. that is that is ballsy. That's a very ballsy peek there. He's now got to rotate to the left-hand side just to try and try and find something. He gets a ringing headshot onto that heavy, but it's not going to be enough to kill and Miss is going to clean up that frag very easily. But the Sniper hasn't worked. What's next? What, what are they going to try next? Potentially the spy again, but losing oh. Berto there as well to a uh, bit of a push is really bad, especially when the med and the scout are through. Oh, the Uber, the Uber comes out from uh, from Gronk. So yeah, the the Uber exchange is happening on this second point. Uh, looks like uh, Himbo is just gonna have the majority of the Uber from Team Weezer's end. Mace is gonna eat a nice pipe. Are they able to clean up that scout kill? Maybe it's, ta it's taking a long time, but they're able to get it eventually. And now from the uh, other team pushing out, they're now starting to get minced in this lobby. It's just, it's just the pub that level three sentry gun on fail rail. This, this could be around. The sentry gun's going down super weak. Now they've just got to get some time on the point before these respawns come in. And yeah, that's around. Four two, definitely well played by Weezer. Able to sort of like, okay, we know they're in lobby. We can catch them here, and then catching them, and then just pushing straight in but taking it slow, clearing out the sentry first, and making sure that they're able to get to that point more or less for free. We'll just have to see with this mid, if Nast is still getting there earlier, which it looks like he is, if he that's has, the yes. aggression they need. Yes, he gets the, a bit slower than last time, but he's still ahead of him, where he gets one uh, decent sticky off. And we see again Crypto uh, just going for these aggressive bombs and he's going to be the first to die yet again. But Gronk goes down to a very nice shot there from Berto to so the two soldiers tag teaming to get that medic kill. Uh, but could, is that, you know, 
really worth it at this point, because now it's just Chani and Kurt, and they're going to be just running for their lives. Uh, but they weren't able to pick up Gronk in that mid, so not all hope is lost, and the time, it, it's ticking down here against Nazi. Like, we have about eight minutes remaining in this, in this first map, and, uh, they are still two rounds down, so... They are certainly still on the back foot, but, but uh, with this Uber, they uh, will have an opportunity to really try and get this momentum back in their favor, carry this momentum that, we were, that they were able to get from that la uh, last round, and then try and push into the mid. And we can see that they're already just basically taking mid for free. Gosford are just gone. Yeah, I think Weezer noticed that Nast had uh, died there, and knowing that uh, Nast is down, they're just able to sort of like push in for free. That's a lot of the damage reduced. I mean, this sort of Uber ad, they can sort of push straight on through into second. We're just seeing they keep going? they look like it. They want to keep going. I, I don't know if they really are going to keep going. They they need If they're going to, they need it to soon. But they need it to about five seconds ago because Gronk is now coming up on his Uber himself. And I think that's a missed opportunity. I, I seriously think so, Snazzy. Yeah, definitely a missed opportunity. Losing that Uber ad there, especially after Gronk spent quite some time, I think about seven seconds after spawning, before he started healing, it was pretty big, man. And it looks like they're coming through now. No, it's just the sack. Berto in very oh, He gets, it. Get he the gets it! Oh my god! Oh no, that is that's gonna really hurt for for Gosford. But they're gonna try and salvage this. They're able to pick up two frags right now. It's just Himbo and Kurt all alone in this lobby against Hub on the Scout class, but the demo man just gonna heal up like it's nothing. The spawn is gonna come in for both teams now. But 30% add from Kurt, surely this is this is the opportunity that they need after that missed opportunity from before. Yeah, Miz is on heavy, but they don't have any NG or anything. I think they're expecting the push to come through a little bit quicker. Um, but Fail Rail's still behind. I don't know if they know he's there. He's in that alleyway. He's like able to sack straight on through if he's not seen him. We do see Kurt all the way deep in the lobby now, though, which well, that, kind of protects him a bit means, from behind. Sorry to cut you off there, Sassy, but that also means that from Gosford are a player down in this last hold. So this this is a double-edged sword. It could go one of both ways, and it looks like that uh, Team Weez are going straight into this heavy. They're going to be able to pick up the kill on Nas. That's no demo man, no stickies on the point. They're now going to be playing the point, and it, it, you just see the meat grinder as Fail Round now is actually trying to come in and save it, but he's not going to be fast enough. And that is, uh, I believe, 4-3, this one round at deficit to, uh, from Gosford. And wow, they're bringing it back, Snazzy. Yeah, dude, I told you, fast rounds, fast rounds. And a fast round is a good round as far as Weezer is concerned there. I don't think they even knew that there was a player caught behind them, but they were just able to capitalize on that so, so well. Both demo men arriving to mid pretty much the same time. Nah, it's not really able to play that advantage. Let's see, actually, Pub's gonna be the first one to die, so it won't be Crypto this time. Now Crypto's gonna jump and he's gonna uh, die again to the scatter guns of Miss. But Berto gonna pick up the kill on Snobble. Uh, Fail Rail picking up the kill on Shani, and there's this kills going left, right, and center. A massive arrow from Kurt, but yeah, Kurt's gonna go down to a nice sticky problem from Nast. Uh, but now it's 2v2. And uh, Gronk's just going to run away through the valley. Is he going to get chased? I think he is. Berto sees the medic in his sights. Can he dodge? And there's a massive <laughs> thing over Saul. Absolutely getting outplayed, Berto. I'm sorry, my friend. I think you just got put in a medic frag movie. <laughs> Dude, Gronk hit him with the bow in me air as well, I believe. Which is so, so fat. The one-two combo. Left, right. Good night, Berto. Giving them the uber they need to re-push straight back into this mid, I think. They're playing it slow though, which is uh, definitely, I think, the play here. They still have this ad, so it's kind of Weezer's push. But uh, we'll just have to see how they want to take it. They look like they're coming in. Yeah, I think they really want to get control of this midpoint because it's a lot easier to hold mid than to hold this garage area. And that's that's one player down, that's Crypto. Doggo's going to get the correct kill onto Nas. So there's no demo man in this push, which... Uh, is less than ideal, but they're able to get the frags that they need. Himbo going down, as well as uh, Crypto and uh, Doggo, as well as Chani. So just two players up for Team Weezer. And actually, Berto's behind. He's back capping, but I don't think that's really going to uh, come to anything. And now he's just stuck behind, uh, you know, just wondering what to do next. Even more unfortunate, we saw Crypto and Dogo get the uh, the forward spawns there, so Kurt hasn't been healing like this whole time. He does still have add though, around about 30 odd, which is definitely pushable, but it looks like Dogo and Crypto sort of fighting that second have put themselves in a bad spot here. 
Well, they're still trying to peek into the second, but they're just getting stuck in the doorway. Himbo's gonna go down. That, so that's uh, not ideal. That's no demo man yet again for the team Weezer. And uh, they were able to pick up the kill onto Pub, but the force, the get, Uber gets used and Crypto gets dropped in the Uber. Oh no, but they're able to get a whole bunch of frags. That's Miss and Grok going down. They're now chasing after Snobble. Snobble just trying to live for as long as he can, but Farrell is on Kurt. And he's unable to get it. He's just dodging the arrows. And there's about two minutes left in this map, and the, the team wins are one round down. And that's the kill going in favor of Team Weezer. So they're able to successfully hold off, and Kurt was able to live. So it won't be an Uber disadvantage. In fact, it will be a slight Uber advantage for the boys in red. Yeah, a very tiny Uber advantage to Weezer here, but. With two minutes left, they really have to keep this pressure up. They were down three players. Sorry, Gosford was down three players there, which was definitely a good time to push, but they took their time getting through that middle, and now they're kind of caught in this connector here, which is definitely going to cause them some issues as the time runs down. We're guessing on times here, but I think there's probably about... Oh, about a minute left here. They may not actually know this, and uh, I, I don't know if it's going to make a difference, man. Well, I don't know if they're going to play it to the time that's actually in the server or the actual official 30 minute timer, but the Uber has come out through this connector and Grog drops! Grog drops the Uber! That is absolutely huge. Uh, Snobble going down, Fail going down, Miss is able to pick up the kill on Berto, but uh, Chan is going to uh, pick off Pub, and that's Miss. That's just now Nas on 70 health, hitting, sitting in this back right corner of last, and that is going to be the equalizing round, surely. And yes, it is. It is now 4-4, four, four, ladies and gentlemen, with only a few minutes left on the clock. Yeah, I mean, if we're running by the proper timer, I think that we've just gone to a golden cap, 4-4. Four, four. But uh, there looks like about 7 minutes left. Gronk has said in the chat, 1 minute remaining. So I think, I think that uh, we're seeing a golden cap on Metalworks here, which is such an improvement. Oh my goodness, that is that is absolutely insane. I will go through this mid anyway. Both demo men arriving uh, early on this mid. Crypto yet again <laughs> going in super deep and dying yet again. But he is able to you know, really make some sort of a massive, massive just <laughs> everything going. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. It might be garbage time, but that is a convincing mid for, for the boys in blue from Gosford. And I think it's just garbage time at this point. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure exactly where the time is at uh, for anyone who's recently joined. There's uh, there's uh, been a bit of a, a config muck around. I'm being told there's about 20 seconds remaining. Uh, but I just want to shout out Himbo with the oh, fattest oh, that's video that's I've ever seen that shot. Crypto, too. crypto, what a shot. Fairrail going to be able to uh, live that one. Uh, but what, just some insane shots, and this is, I mean, hey, we, we joke about open, right, but these, these, these guys can aim when they're on it, oh my goodness. Yeah, man. So, this is, uh, looks like from what's going on in the chat, this is going to be more or less dead time, they're talking about execing and setting up Golden Cap. So, oh man, what a game. Golden Cap's going to be really hard to call. Especially with how important the mid is, trying to um, call it's going to be difficult because we have seen the dominance of uh, Gosford on these mids. Um, I believe we'll be combining the logs to show the the logs at the end. Um, so for the moment, we're not going to really talk about the logs, but holy dooly, what games! We're seeing the return of Weezer maybe warming up over time there. Hey. Yeah, they got off to a bit of a slow start, but they brought themselves back in it from a three-round deficit, no less. And that is quite the effort, and I think the cracks are starting to show in Gosford. You know, the Gronk there with a, a, a massive misplay, just dropping that Uber that allowed them to get the equalizing round. Um, but yeah, this, these mid, this mid-fight on the Golden Cab is going to be so, so important, just considering how fast-paced the game has been. Like, one dominant performance on mid could, could decide the round right there and then. And I think it all relies on Crypto. Crypto on most of these mids has been jumping in super early to the basically the entire combo and getting absolutely nothing. 
though. He, he, I think he really needs to value his life a little bit more. Maybe just delay the jump, spam a few rockets, and actually go for something that he knows that he can like at least get the trade. Because right now he's just sacking in and dying instantly, and he's putting his team a player down and really trusting the the rest of his team to really just play off the damage that he he uh, he is doing. Yeah, I. I think Crypto needs to sort of coordinate his aggression because he's going in on his own on a lot of these mids. There's no one really there to back him up. Um, and I think he, if he was to coordinate with even a scout to follow up on some of the big damage that he's doing to the players that he jumps into, then that would make a huge difference uh, on these mids for Weezer. But, uh, oh man, I, I'm like, I'm pretty hyped about this, man. <laughs> like, yeah, this first is, uh, map. Going to Golden Cap, this is exactly what we like to see. And after what uh, we saw in the, I believe it was the, the main semi-finals yes, uh, just a couple of days ago, these Golden Caps uh, can be uh, quite entertaining when everything is on the line. Not quite everything in this case because it is only the first map in this best of three. But winning this first map, uh, especially for Team Weezer, after the performances that they've had on... Uh, you know, they've had it against this team on Metalworks, and how dominant Gosford have been on Metalworks as of late would certainly be a massive, massive boost to their confidence heading into, I believe, Process is the second map? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, heading into Process, which is a very, very different map. And it looks like these guys are actually going to get started. We're not going to be waiting 15 minutes like we did last time, Snazzy. It is the golden cap time, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us. This is Capping TV's uh, coverage of the Oz Fortress Season 29 Open Grand Finals. Uh, we Semi! Have the, the, not the finals, the semi-finals. My bad. Bronze match, but it's still just as intense as we make our way to the... But it's whatever. It's a, it's a game, it's shut up. Okay, we're going through this first mid, this mid on the Golden Cap. Himbo's taking a lot of damage. There goes uh, Berto actually on the aggression. He's able to pick up Nas very, very nice and early, but Himbo and Berto both going down. Uh, it's about a 1 for 2 trade at the moment, there's massive damage from Crypto, but it's not going to be enough. And I think that uh, Team Weezer have cut their losses, and then they're just going to back out to second, maybe back out to last, and just make sure that they don't lose this round. Yeah, I think this is definitely the play here. I think they saw, okay, we lost our Demo Man, sure we cleaned theirs up, but we're now down a player, including our Demo Man, and they just got right out. They did sort of poke this second, but uh, I think they made the right choice, just backing up a bit. Uh, committing to the last because uh, they know they don't have a timer here. They can afford to sit on last, turtle it for a bit, uh, and then when they have some sort of pushable advantage, they can push right on in. But, uh, oh man, what a mid. What a mid. So many things going on on that one. Yeah, it was interesting to see that Berto was actually the soldier on Team Weezer leading that aggression, and, not, and, and uh, not Crypto this time. And he was actually able to get the trade on the demo, which was pretty good, but that was about all that they were going to get and just the positional advantage that Gosford have been showing throughout this entire game just uh, came in clutch really and they were just able to really uh, put the pressure on as probably just going to die to a nice, uh, I think it was a six sticky trap uh, so probably going to go on and off class uh, but you know they have, uh, Gosford have multiple cracks at this now Crypto is going to go in for the counter sack and has a 20 second respawn, that is an ouch yeah, definitely a huge... Oh, the Ubers! The, the Ubers have been traded! And and Kurt's dead! Kurt's dead, but Miss and uh, Failrail are dead as well. And it's a now a 3v4 fight onto this last. The Brass Beast Heavy of uh, Shani is just sort of sitting there. And Doggo's in deep. He's gonna get the kill onto Gronk with the help of his Demolition Man. But just now, pull on the point, and that is gonna be a full wipe. And what... What was that, Snazzy? That was a... A very, uh openish play if if you're allowed to use that term i don't know what was going on you are so rude um, <laughs> it was uh, it was definitely a flubbed push um we do actually see kurt and gronk getting the beam on around about exactly the same time so it's going to be even ubers again uh, oh, and it, looks like... and it wasn't it wasn't that it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. too bad but um i think uh, Weez has made the right decision here because so many of their players were low after that fight to sort of total last again. Uh, we do see that Birdo has come up on Spy. I think he's just checking off classes at the moment, but they are sticking cookie, cookie cutter otherwise. Kurt does have a, a slightly tangible advantage, but uh, I'm not sure if he even really knows it, so I don't think they're going to do anything about it. Pubs all the way in. He gets cleaned up. 
I think even if they knew about this advantage, it's too risky to really try and make anything of it. Because if you fail, that's the round gone. And that's the map gone. And after the amount of, you know, amount of time and effort and just grinding that they've had to bring back that three round deficit, I'm sure that they don't really want to throw it all the way in one silly, uh, uh, try and push out a last, uh, which has basically all the odds against them. Uh, but we see uh, Pub actually now coming up on the Sniper. So they're gonna, they're gonna try this Sniper play yet again. He was able to get uh, a nice headshot before. Let's see... Crypto's if, out. If, yeah. Crypto's come out on Spy. He's actually gotten all the way through straight past Fail Rail. I'm interested to see if he's, wow. a, he's gonna be able to do something with this again, because he was so successful last time. Yeah, so the double off class. There's one Sniper on one side, a Spy on the other. Pub's gonna get one. Uh, but this fails stab, and Gronk doesn't use the Uber, at the, uh, but the Heavy being down, and now the Uber's getting traded. Berto's just sitting on the rail, just trying to spam down some rockets, and nothing really happening as of yet. Pharaoh's going to pick up the kill onto Doggo. Pub's going to pick up a nice body shot onto Berto as well, and it's just Kurt. He's just sitting near the spawn, and that is going to be map one to from Gosford after quite, a, quite an interesting... Uh, advantage that they got from that last push in the golden cap there snazzy yeah so so unfortunate for weezer there just getting headshot on that heavy there right at the same time as crypto is going in to die about the worst possible situation that that like spy play could have possibly gone um for crypto just so so unfortunate for them but uh losing metalworks 5-4 to a golden cap shows that Weezer has definitely improved uh, since week three, where I believe they, they lost this by round. Yeah, I think, I think it was the full deficit, right? It yeah, was, it was the five six round one. win diff. Yeah. So, I mean, definitely huge. We'll, uh, we'll get these logs up in a moment, have a quick chat about them as we head into process, right? Yeah, process, a, a very, very different map, and one that I'm sure all of these pl players are very, very experienced in. It's one of the staples, if not the staple when it comes to uh, TF2 sixes nowadays. Bye bye Badlands, your old news, it's process time now. <laughs> and that was, that, that, that statement's way out of date, I know. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, yeah, well well done from uh, from both teams, actually. You know, uh, Team Weezer being able to bring map that three round deficit, even though it didn't result in uh, getting the map in their favor. It still shows that they they're here to play, they're here to fight, and it isn't just going to be an easy you know sort of rollover for Team Gosford to just have an easy ticket into the finals. No, they're going to have to work for it, Snazzy, and we absolutely love to see that as as casters here tonight. Yeah, the more interesting the game is, the better. Um, and I think I was hyping this one up to you in the in the pregame when we weren't on the stream because uh, these teams. I believe have been scrimming each other pretty regularly all the way through the season. Um, so they do have a pretty good handle on each other. Um, so it, it's really good to see when, uh, when this is happening. We have, I believe, got these logs on up on the stream. So what is jumping out? I mean, obviously, Doggo having a pretty big game, 25 for 17. Um, followed pretty closely by Pub with uh, 23 for 17. But you can see that uh, I think Gosford sort of had a bit of a, an advantage there because you can see a lot more of the, the big fraggers uh, definitely in blue there, hey? Yeah, lots of lots of kills for Team Gosford. Uh, Fail Rail uh, having the top DPM in the match, 271. So not, not the highest we've seen, but uh, it certainly is a very, very beefy damage stat. And just looking at the team stats in general, you know, 105 kills to 84. Uh, in a 5-4 game and doing 6,000 more damage for the side of Team Gosford, or from Gosford, I should be saying. Uh, that that does seem pretty reminiscent of how this game went, just well, the, so much more damage and so much more pressure onto Team we Weezer, just really put them on the back foot. We could see that on the mids, we could see that in basically all the holds, all the pushes. Um, but yeah, just a few crucial mistakes from particularly Gronk there with his three drops was able to uh, keep uh, Team Weezer in it. And some, some big plays from, from uh, Team Weezer as well. We see uh, Doggo, they're actually top fragging the server with 25 kills. So not a bad effort from him on that scout class. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it might 
uh, have gone down to, like we said, we know that Gosford uh, had a bit of an edge, like a bit more experience on Metalworks, that being, I mean, arguably their best map. Um, and I think that kind of showed in how early Nast was getting to mid compared to Himbo. Um, so I think that sort of like gave them the edge that they really needed. I think if the mids were a bit more even, it may have actually gone fairly directly the way of Weezer. So on a map like this, where, you know, everyone's played it a gazillion times, like you said, um, it may... It, it may make a huge, huge difference, like having both demos getting here at the same time, having that sort of more substantial experience on both teams. Uh, I, I think the mids will be a bit more even, and I think Weezer will really find their time to shine. Uh, this is their pick, so obviously they've said, okay, I think this is our best chance to take ourselves into the grand finals here. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be very interesting. Well, since it is such a standard map in this in the in this day and age, uh, it, it's going to be a bit harder for them to really pull pull out those unorthodox plays, but certainly not impossible. Uh, I think, like, I agree with what you're saying with the demo men getting to mid probably a bit closer together, just given now how I think technically easier the rollout is. Like, it's a it's a fairly simple demo man rollout. So it's choky for sure. Yeah, there's a lot. There's, there's a bit more room for error. I'll, I'll say. Um, but yeah, process a very different map could go really either way. Uh, from Gosford to have shown that they're you know they're here to play. But Team Weezer as well, they you know, brought it back uh, to a golden cap when everything looked in doubt when they were three rounds down. So I wouldn't count them out either. Uh, I, I honestly have absolutely no idea how this this second map is going to go, and I think it's really going to come down to who gets that early aggression, who gets that early momentum, and who's able to keep up the pressure. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously banking on Weezer winning here because uh, if our playoffs coverage, or at least my own playoffs coverage, is anything to go by, I've been stuck here for like two and a half hours at a time every time I've cast it. So I'm guessing Weezer wins this one and we go to a third map, which would be Sunshine. But um, I don't know. I, I, think, I think Weezer actually does have a bit of an edge here, uh, especially with how sack happy crypto seems to be and birdo has made some pretty impressive impact on uh, this map previously we we watched the uh the game between uh weezer and uh oh god what are they called milady um on this map and this map was uh it was pretty janky for them there were some server issues that went on but birdo was making some huge huge impact getting there um and forcing the issues pretty commonly so i think maybe with how conducive this map actually is with um soldiers i think it'll make a pretty big difference for weezer i don't want to say their soldiers are like stronger necessarily but they're definitely more happy to to go in on those those even uber spots that uh we see so commonly in uh, team fortress in the modern age yeah i wouldn't even rule out the scouts for team weezer uh, either you know doggo making the Top frag in the last map, and he's got a pretty good damage stat to go along with it, uh, just sitting above, just over a 200 DPM. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't count the scouts out either, and with a map that's as open as this, in contrast to Metalworks, the scouts are certainly going to have a much more impactful role uh, compared to the soldiers that we saw on Metalworks. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not sure, but I think both teams are readying up here, so this will be map two of our coverage of the Season 29 Open semi-final. Winner of this going directly to the Grand Finals. Weezer versus Gosford. I reckon Weezer's taken it, but we'll have to see how this mid goes. Tell me about it, Mikau. Yeah, so both demo men arriving to mid basically at the same time. We actually see Nast going for this aggressive right hand side, not even like getting the uh, the health pack, but he uh, for but uh, because of that he is quite weak. Uh, both teams are sort of exchanging spam. Miss actually going very very aggressive onto that blue crate. He's going to be backing up, but I think that's Chani. He's actually going straight in uh, with aggressive soldier bombs and Berto having this the uh, as a melee out, and that's going to be three easy kills for Gosford and just. Yeah, Team Weezer have to hightail it out of there as quick as they can. I think Himbo might actually get caught here if he doesn't hightail out there a bit faster. Crypto buying as much time as he can. He's able to get the kill onto Fail Rail, but Miss is going to trade out his life for it. And Team Weezer have been pushed back to their last. So a very convincing mid 
from uh, Tim Gosford, and it looks like they're going to be trying to see how they can crack into this last point, Snazzy. Yeah, and sending a sack from Snowball, definitely a good way to sort of open that one up, especially while Crypto is still down. He wasn't actually quite able to collect anything with the sack. And we do actually see a sort of like counter push. Birdo taking out Fail Rail in door two there. And it looks like Team Wiz is getting be pretty keen to push it through lobby. Yeah, there's Himbo just trying to peek from this lower door. Looks like uh, Chani is actually trying to make something else happen. But Crypto with the massive bomb onto that second point. He's actually going to just take a such a dominant stance. But he stands still for an hour and Nast hits him with a nice pipe there. So they're going to be playing down. And I think that's going to allow for Gosford to push back in. Himbo takes a lot of damage in door one. But the shutter closes just in time. And they're able to get out of there alive. But I think this re-aggression has... Uh, triggered the push. We can see the Ubers now exchanging on this last point. And just do a little bit of a ring around the road. He looks like Miss going all the way around to the left, left, left hand side. He's now on the point. There's three players down. Four make that four players down now. It's just Himbo and Kurt on this final point, and it's not going to be enough, Snazzy. That's round number one for Gosford, and they have come out on fire. They have definitely come out on fire. They've really got the blinders on. They're going straight for the uh, the end gate there. Capping that last very, very quickly. Miss was so powerful going up in that top area and just kind of getting forgotten about. Um, but coming into this mid, Crypto, very deep. It still is the pack. The Himbo a bit slower than he normally is. Again, both these teams are just going to be trading spam. God, it looks like Snowball is actually going down super, super low. Virtue is going to be the first one to die to the Skeleton of Mist, who's been absolutely unstoppable in these first few minutes of process. He's going to pick up another kill for his tally. Now Snowball is going to try and make something happen. He gets a kill onto Crypto. Very, very nicely done from him. Uh, but again, it's, we see Team Weezer try, just having to back out of it. And these mids are not going in their favor at all, Snazzy. This is a super, super unfortunate. It's definitely not going their way, but uh, they have kept enough players up to be able to hold second here. I think that uh, Gosford is just able to play that high ground a little bit better. They get control of it. Fail Rail coming straight in through the choke, though. I think this might it's be the push. Two rockets. He gets two rockets on the Doggo, but it's not going to be quite enough to get the to get the kill. They're just going to be sitting in this choke point, just healing up yet again. I think that was just an attempt of trying to make an opening. Uh, but obviously it didn't work, didn't get the, the kill they needed, so I think they're just going to back up, reset, and uh, try plan B. Yeah, I might actually call Fail Rail out there a little. That was a very old-fashioned attempt to force an opening, just stepping through the choke and just trying to big dick rockets into whatever's closed. Is, uh, it's very old-fashioned Team Fortress. I love well, to see it. Well, he hit the 2-Rex. He hit the 2-Rex, oh, yeah. it just wasn't quite enough to get the kill. It was absolutely huge, but uh, I, uh, I, I guess we'll just keep seeing what happens here. There is, uh, on my screen, no, my heart is broken. Oh, here uh, goes Fail Rail say... yet again. He goes for a super high bomb, but he's going to jump into both scouts and he's going to not land any of his rockets there. So there's the sack. Do we see a counter sack? Are they, uh, is Team Weasel going to do anything? Yes, Crypto is trying, but he can't find an opening through the choke. Now we see... Uh, uh, looks like uh, Chani just trying to take this 1v1 in ITPC area, and he's going to just get the health pack and hightail it out of there. So, no real attempt to opening for a counter sack from Team Weezer. No off class yet from uh, Gosford, though, so they're just going to maybe just try the sack game again. Snazzy, I don't know, what, what do you do if you're Gosford in this situation? I think Gosford played it really well, and they are around up. Uh, so as long as they don't take any silly, silly fights, uh, though they do sack Snowball straight on through. Huge mini onto Himbo. But Nas going down at the choke, Himbo managing to get a pipe onto him and force him into the air. He goes down. This is going to trigger the push out of Weezer. Yeah, they, they're going all guns are blazing. The Uber now has been forced by both teams. Fail Rail again behind. See if he's able to do anything. He's actually starting a back cap. And I think that is taking the attention of basically the entire team of Weezer. Uh, but they are going to be able to cap this out, maybe if it's fast enough? Yes, yes they will. And Himbo with some nice pipes there onto Fail Rail, wow. Yeah, huge, huge pipes. And being able to cap mid here, retain your medic with around about 40, be about 50 by the time uh, Gronk spawns and gets to heal someone. Might even be more, it looks like. Yeah, it's about 55. That's a huge, huge add when you're holding mid here. And being able to push straight in because the spawns have only just come through. 
it looks like they're going to be poking it gently. They don't really want to get too aggressive and get fragged coming into second here. I well, can't him, imagine him though, that this is going any other way, though. Weez is taking this second for sure, right? Oh, I, I'd certainly hope so with a 60% uber advantage. But they're, they're, going, they're walking in through the choke. There's no stickies there. They've, they've, uh, I haven't really checked it, but there's no stickies there. So they're, they're through cleanly. Birds are actually going to eat a pipe. Straight to the face, he's gonna go down. Fail Rail going down very weak. And these and it looks like Team Weezer are able to get this point without using their Uber. Maybe? Snowball is having a bit of a duel in IT. Let's see if he's gonna get any help from the rest of his teammates. Uh sort of. I don't know, Fail Rail down to one HP. And he's gonna escape, but uh his his uh, soldier buddy Goss uh Snowball is not gonna be as lucky as <laughs> Chani there dying to a sticky trap from Nast. But a great, great play from uh, Team Weezer, being able to take the second without using their Uber. So now it's going to be even Ubers. They can you know, take their time, maybe bring up Chani on that Sniper off class, or maybe even perhaps the Spy, and really try and work this last point yet again. Yeah, Chani looks like he's just coming up on Scout, though, which I do think is a good play. We do actually see Spy, though, which is pretty horrifying. This means some crazy spy plays on uh, Moonworks. He's, we'll he's, just... he's committed as well. Oh, he's all the way through, man. We're going to have to see if he's going to be able to come around and uh, drop Kurt there. But uh, yeah, definitely kind of unfortunate not being able to turn that Uber ad into player ad and cap straight into last. But uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Crypto going in for a big sack and uh, dying pretty much immediately to fail out. Miss is behind, though. No one's really seen him. He's on that point. Oh, he's, he's so, so close, close to Kurt. He's so close. This is... If, if you see this and you're missed, this is like ringing alarm bells. You just feel the dopamine. It's like, yes, this is coming. Yes, this is coming. He dumps off of the point. Uh, but yeah, I think the longer that they got this goes on, the more and more wary that Team Weezer will become. Because right now, Gosford aren't really doing anything. They're not really poking anything. They're just sort of sitting back, waiting for Miss to make the opening. He's in. He gets him, though. So that's no demo, but he's not going to get that illustrious uh, medic uh, plus two. And uh, Crypto on the Sniper, they actually know he's on Sniper now. And, and uh, it looks like Snowball's gonna go down yet again, and Kurt has dropped though! Oh no! So they get the, the picks that they need, but Kurt dropping that Uber. Fail Rail gonna pick up two with the Brass Beast. Doggo is gonna fall to the pistol, or the winger, I think that is, of uh, Pub. And yeah, Chani's just gonna hightail it out of there yet again, and that is a successful hole, but I think that was more luck than anything. I mean, you can say that, but I think Nast played it really, really smart. He knew that uh, Himbo was down, so he was sort of able to, like, push into that lobby area while they were still, you know, backing in and out, trying to kill that spy. And just being able to get a couple of stickies, and I believe even a pipe, onto Kurt, just, like, easy drops, man. Easy drops. Very unfortunate for Weezer here, but they do pick up Snowball in oh, uh, the pushing. PC area. Team Weezer, they're, they're pushing through this IT. They, I think they decide better of it, but they were able to get the trade. Doggo for Snowball, so they're just going to reset. We're about 10 minutes into this second map, uh, and you know, Gosford just having the one round on the board. Uh, but they are in the advantageous position as we see a massive bomb now. The Uber coming out. The Uber trade has happened on this midpoint. A very, very aggressive trade, if I do say so myself. And Nas falling very weak. He's actually going to go down to the guns of Chani. And a massive bomb! Massive damage from Cryo. He's going to be able to pick up the medic. And that is going to be no heals for team, the, the team from Gosford. And it's now two players up, but Kurt's all alone at choke. He's now facing yes, someone here. It's one arrow. Is he going to be able to get the second? He's dodging the rock as he gets another silver to the rock. <gasps> oh no! He gets the oh trade. God. He gets the kill, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. But uh, looks like Chani's already on the uh, last point, and that's going to be one one. What a crazy, crazy series of events, Snazzy. Absolutely insane. Dude, that whole fight between Kurt and Snowball had me transfixed. I didn't even see Chani going in, taking <laughs> out a gamer and capping that lot. Tell me about this mid, man. Yeah, so Crypto again being one of the first ones to arrive at mid. And I think that it looks like uh, Gosford actually opting for the left-hand side this time. Okay, this is something new. They have uh, control over this high ground and <laughs> they're just going to win the mid off positioning alone. No one's gonna die. It looks like Doggo's gonna be the only one that actually dies trying to leave. But that mid was over before it had even started, Snazzy. 
Oh my god, yeah, they had such good control of that high ground. Berto actually in that PC area. Going down to Snowball in the middle of that one, but luckily Chani frags fail rail, but he does end up dying for it, and this is looking like frags all over the shop, and I believe Wiz is gonna have to give up on two. Oh, there's Crypto, he gets one rocket, he gets the two! That's Gronk, down and out, you don't stand on the low ground as a medic, that's medic 102, I guess, 101, pop it, don't drop it. But it looks like Kurt, speaking of, he's gonna pop that Uber straight through. But I don't think Dog is gonna really be able to get anything from this. They're able to get a bit of space, but they, they faded to come through the choke. And Nas is gonna pick up the kill onto Doggo. Now, Berto is very, very low as well. Uh, as well as Chani. And they're just exchanging spam through this choke point. And yeah, the Ubers are gonna be about even now, because Gronk's now up on that respawn. Both medics have about just around 30%, maybe a, a slight, slight advantage to Kurt. Uh, but it isn't going to really be enough, and the player advantage certainly isn't going to be helping them at all. Yeah, Weezer lost like three different gamers in different areas of the map there very, very rapidly, which has put them very much on the back foot here. Their Uber ad has vanished, the very wow, small amount that it was, the push is straight through. That's that, that's round, surely. Yeah, that, that, that's round. It was so fast, and just come out all guns are blazing. They didn't, didn't give Team Weezer any opportunity to sort of set up anything. They were just like, yep, you're three players down. All right, this is our round. Yeah, man, it's totally a free round for Gosford there. They were just able to go, okay, look, they're still three down. We can definitely get in before they spawn. And they did it. They oh, just stood on that oh, point. Crypto Nothing could fight. Again is the first to mid. Stuffs up the jump back. He's able to steal the enemy health back once again. Uh, but again, we see Gosford going for this right side mid. Crypto's going to jump in doing a lot of damage, but... He's only really able to get that. He's not really able to get any frags from it. Snowball's going to go down as well. So both teams down the soldiers. Now 5v5 fight. And both teams sort of just playing it nice and patient. Both scouts going aggressive. Kurt very low. Actually, everyone on Team Weezer are very low. But they aren't at zero. They're actually surviving for so long. And I think with two players down on Gosford, things are looking very, very favorable for Team Weezer. Dog is surviving so long. He's eventually going to go down. But the scattergun from Shani, he's going to pick up the medic and the bomb from behind. The Uber gets popped as well. And this fight is just going on forever, Snazzy. See that pub's going to get out. He's going to get out with 30 HP. Yes, he is. So very, very lucky escape from here and some great dodges as well. But that is a mid for Team Weezer and they, they have a slight, slight Uber advantage. Maybe about 20 to 25%. So they're going to be trying to look to get into the second point ASAP, I think. I think they definitely need to. That mid was an absolute dog's breakfast, man. It was all over the shop. We did see Weezer come out on top, but I think that was due to the fact that their scouts stayed in. Their med and their demo were like caught back at choke trying to reheal before they came back in. So Doggo and Chani really put that mid on their back trying to frag gamers and... Uh, win it for their team but we do see the push looking like it's coming through it well actually uh some great great uber building from the the boys from gosford and they've actually basically neutralized this slight uber advantage that kurt did have so whether they're aware of it or not i don't know it looks like kimbo is getting very aggressive through that choke but the ubers are now even so the ball is in team weezer's court See what they want to do, maybe send a soldier through choke with a nice skip jump and just try and get some pressure from behind. Actually, no, they're just going to go in and straight trade it. Looks like Chani's going to go down to the guns of Miss in that uh, sewer area. And yeah, just absolutely, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. They just went in for the, the trade and it hasn't worked out for them. That's given Team Gosford, the, the boys from Gosford, I should be saying, the opportunity to go in. Go goes super low, 4 HP, and he's going to die to the scouting on a Miss who might I say, has been putting absolute work in this map so far. Yeah, and this has definitely been doing the uh, the effort. But uh, yeah, that push, it, it was like okay trade until they lost Chani in that sewer area, and the push comes straight through from uh, Gosford. Yeah, Fail Rail gonna die super early, so that's not gonna be ideal. Pub as well, falling down to 11 HP, so the health isn't looking good, and I think with that, Gosford are just going to back out of it. Is Snowball going to get caught in PC? Yes, he is. And there's a duel now going on between Pub and uh, Chani, but looks like the other scout there, Miss, is going to help out his scout buddy there and make sure that he lives and the other scout dies. And that's the name of the game, isn't it, Snazzy? Make sure that you're alive and the other team is dead. 
I mean, it's, uh, it's sort of FPS 101. <laughs> uh, definitely uh, an easy way to win is uh, gaining player ad, um, especially in sixes where it matters so much. I think Weezer needs to start playing these flanks a little bit more smart, or, or stacking the players they're, they're, there. They're stacking the players in the flank, <laughs> they're just going for this uber yet again on this even uber, basically no advantage through IT, but Berto's gonna pick die to fail rail in sewer, and that has really exposed the other flank, and Doggo going down as well, so now it's two players down, they're down the ubers as well, fail rail having a massive massive bomb, eyeing up this demo man, Himbo's gonna go down to the scatter shot from pub, and now Kurt's gonna fall as well, that's two players, now make that one player, it's just Chani, trying to make his way out through lower lobby, and this is looking like it's gonna be another round for Gosford, unless something crazy happens. Yeah, definitely some dire straits for Weezer here, their spawn's coming through, but I don't like their all. Chani's taking that fight on hey, the Gronk last, will but... pick up a kill as well. Yeah, definitely just going the way of uh, of Gossard there. They now have two round lead with 13 minutes remaining, which is very, very healthy for them. So we'll just have to see, is Weezer going to play this mid super aggressive in an attempt to return to uh, the land of the living, or what's going to happen? Well, Crypto again very fast to this mid, not taking the pack this time. He's actually gonna, all, going all the way down to 30 HP and he's gonna actually leave the mid almost entirely. The other soldier, uh, Berto, also falling down very weak and we just see again this positional game by Gosford. Absolutely raining terror down on Team Weezer. The sword comes out from Kurt. He's able to trade with Snowball, but he's gonna pay with his life nonetheless. And yeah, just... Gosford have, have Team Weezer's numbers on these mids. Just playing that high ground just is just so, so powerful. And you can just see that Team Weezer have absolutely no chance how they're playing it right now to really make anything of these mids. Yeah, Gosford really, like you said, has the number. That high ground is so, so important. And Gosford is taking it very, very hard. They're able to get up on there and Weezer really can't do anything. They're so disjointed on these mids with players going one way and other players going the other. I mean, I don't know if it's a comms issue or what's happening, but, oh, but things aren't going in. right. The Goobers coming in from Team Gosford. They're using that Uber advantage to great effect. is going to pick up a frag. Bertz is going to get a still skill stick kill, but it's not going to be enough. That's going to be 4-1 with just over 10 minutes remaining. Doable. We've seen uh, comebacks like this before from uh, the boys in red over at Team Weasel, but uh, with 10 minutes remaining, it's, it's going to be a tough ask. It's definitely going to be a tough ask, especially coming into this mid. Crypto taking that high ground for once, not really going too aggressive, and then standing on the low. Pub's really deep in on him, but Crypto does get a frag on the miss right across the point. Birdo with a big old bomb. Kurt going down to Pub, though. This is really not looking good for Weezer. Doggo and Chani, the only ones left in. Chani taking the fight in choke, and I don't think he's going to be getting out, so that's a team wipe. And they kept Gronk up on the side of Gosford. I just, the, the thing that stood out to me in that mid snazzy was that four players, yes, four of them all went onto the high ground basically at exactly the same time, and Team Weezer had no answer to it. Absolutely nothing. They were just stuck again near their rock, near their choke, and just couldn't do anything. They, you know, we saw both soldiers trying to hit those rockets, trying to take some high ground, but just the pressure was so overwhelming, and it was just too much. Crypto is going to go down to a nice sticky trap from uh, from Nas there as well. So player ad and Uber ad, they're making their way into this lobby, and things are looking very bad for Team Weezer right now. Door three looks like it's going to be the push. Nas is going in. He's jumping straight into a beast heavy, and it's not going to really work out for him. Uh, they're getting time on the point. They're getting the kills, and that is going to be five one. And yeah, I don't I don't know what to say. Gosford have just really turned it on. This is Weezer's last chance to really make anything of this, with just under now 10 minutes remaining. Mathematically possible, but improbable. Definitely very difficult for Weezer, but we saw them do this on the previous map, coming back from what seemed like easy defeat. Nas taking quite a lot of damage at the start of that mid, but he does get a bow to bring him back up to health. Chani dueling on that high ground, but he does have to leave it, and I think Weezer's going to have to give up on this mid once again. Snowball's in very, very deep, getting quite a lot of damage. Kurt, Himbo, and Doggo all down very low. Snowball going down, but I think that's going to cause some problems for this. Pardon me, I just choked on something. Second, we do see Fail Rail coming in very deep and fragging oh Kurt with Oh my goodness. Ease. That is a massive, massive bomb 
from Failrail, just doing so much damage. Kurt going down is basically... That, that basically seals it at this point. Crypto is going to try something, but it's going to go to no avail. <laughs> Chani actually just big ballsing it right into the guns and miss. He's going to take out that scout. And yeah, oh, actually, Nas going down and Gronk has been forced to use his Uber. He's able to meet up with Pub and do some damage here and there. Hippo going down very weak and Fairrail as well is going to help out. Picking up the frag on Crypto, but just two players up now for Team Weasel. This is looking awful, absolutely dreadful. And now I think Fairway with a massive, massive air shot. And that's going to be the 6 1. And it looks like from Dos uh, the team from Gosford are going to be going into the Open Grand Finals. Yeah, such a huge map from Gosford there. At first, I thought Team Weasel was coming back, with the, especially with their performance at the tail end of that Metalworks game. They were just able to sort of go, okay, we've got it all together now. We're going to start doing things and losing just very, very slightly on there. But 6-1 on this map, I mean, Gosford just figured it out. Gosford had this map in the bag pretty much the whole way through with the way they were playing those mids quite aggressively, taking that high ground and not really getting contested. Very, very big for them. And that's sort of how you play a process bit, isn't it? You have to really control that high ground. And Team Weasel, no matter how many attempts they had during this map, they just couldn't find an answer. And that's sometimes what you have to do. That, that quick thinking on your feet is sometimes what makes the difference between winning and losing in these high-pressure situations. But uh, congratulations to uh, the team from Gosford. They're making their way into the Grand Finals next week. And... Uh, and congratulations as well to Team Weezer. They they will pick up that illustrious uh, placement badge and not the the scummy participant badge. Uh, and they they have done very well this season for being a relatively new team uh, with relatively new players as well. They have done very very well for themselves. So they should be proud of their performance uh, regardless. Just making it this far as you know as some new players and hopefully they're able to stick around and, and improve as a team and hopefully we'll see them back uh, next season challenging for that top spot or maybe even challenging in playoffs in the division above i can definitely see either or happening we do have these logs up though uh they kind of they kind of read exactly how the game went a lot of damage and a lot of kills coming out of uh team gosford there Fairrail having the game of his life with the most frags in the server and the most damage. 294 DPM or 6,200 for anyone counting at home. 20 for 12. Big game for Fairrail. I think things just didn't really go Weezer's way. Uh, and I think Fairrail taking that high ground on the mids sort of just padding his stats. Um, another First thing stats. To note, I apologize. Another thing to note. Uh, pub. 15 to 2. 7.5 KD. Absolutely incredible, incredible performance from both of the scouts on uh, from Gosford as well. Uh, Miss there, I talked about him a lot uh, during that match. He won some crucial, crucial duels. Uh, but yeah, the logs basically go as you'd expect. Just a whole lot of damage and a whole lot of kills, all from uh, the boys in blue. And yeah, just unfortunate that... Uh, uh, Team Weezer really couldn't find the momentum that they need. They were able to get that one round early on, really grind that one out. But after that, I think team uh, the team from Gosford just just had their number on every single mid, and they were just able to steamroll that momentum through like the last three rounds, all taking about a minute and a half each. So that's very very dominating. Yeah, definitely just big games out of both teams. Uh, I think Gosford definitely has a chance of uh, taking this one in the end versus HK in the uh, the finals. If they're able to show this same sort of dominance, uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be playing. They're gonna be running rings uh, around HK. I think it, it was a huge, huge game from Gosford. Yeah, absolutely incredible scenes. You love to see it. Like we saw some huge, huge air shots from from both teams. Actually, like like I'm not taking any credit away from from Team Weezer. They put up a stellar, stellar fight. That Metalworks game went absolutely down to the wire, and they made that uh that that comeback from three rounds down there to bring it to a golden cap. Unable to capitalize, but 
it just seemed to all unravel in the second half of process and they just couldn't really stop that aggression they couldn't find the answer that the answers that they needed to stop getting demolished on these mids they they tried everything they tried going left they tried going right they tried playing uh crypto fast playing crypto slow they just they tried everything and they couldn't find a way to stop the utter aggression and just sheer dominance on that high ground that uh, uh the team from Gosford, the boys in blue, uh, just did so well. Yeah, they were definitely very dominant. But uh, like you said, I do want to congratulate the boys on Weezer, man, for a first season coming in. Uh, that's that's confirmed third place, yeah? That's like yeah, that's that's third place. Huge, man. That is huge for your first season. Um, yeah, I think my first season, I was like eighth. <laughs> uh, dude, my first season, I think we came like last in Div Six, man. <laughs> like, so, yeah, so, uh, so a stellar, stellar achievement. Very big for, stuff for Team Weezer. Absolutely incredible, and we hope to see all these players sticking around and making their way up the ranks. And but uh, yeah, it unfortunately it went the way of the from Gosford uh, tonight, and next week they'll be playing off in the Open Grand Final. So be sure to. Stick around for that. Now, I don't know if we're going to have any interviews for this match. I think we're going to dodge them. It's probably the best way to go. But uh, definitely a huge game from both teams. So uh, I suppose we can, we can do some self, uh, self-fellation. Do you, want to, do you want to shout anything out, Mikau, before we close it on out? Oh, just a uh, shout out to the Plan Z boys. Always, always do. Looking forward to the comeback in the, the Summer Cup, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just a sh- uh, shout out to to Zama, Shout out to the Striphium as well over the uh, in the uh, the F one side of things. Uh, always appreciate your career over there. And shout out to to you, my friend, Lampshade twenty two, absolute legend. Shout out to to Mitch as well, Capping TV, and of course Oz Fortress for giving us this game and the two teams that played tonight. You know, great great effort from from both sides of the camp. Yeah. I'm not sure if uh, Mitch is audible on stream, but did you have anything to shout out, mate? Did they hear that, or do I have to repeat it? Make sure everyone comes back next week for the grand final. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll hear my, you know, dulcet tones, but it'll definitely be a uh, a great game. Um, I'm just going to do a quick shout out to the towns of Warnable and uh, Swan Hill. Uh, the home of the, I think they got like a, a big carp or something, like a, a big fish. You know, you know how every town has a big something. Anyway, really cool. Shout out to uh, Mikael for coming in and uh, casting with me, and shout out to Mitch uh, for producing. I think that's like twice this season, bro. That's huge. <laughs> but um, the new record. Thank you most of all to the viewers for coming on in. Um, it's been uh, it's been some great games. Uh, Gosford taking that one. Uh, really just by the skin of their teeth on Metalworks, rather convincingly on process, and uh, Weezer, great season. Just a fantastic season, especially for uh, a team with quite a bit of uh, newness to it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for tuning in. This has been our coverage of the Open Semi-Finals. Gosford has taken it and will be shoving on forwards to the Grand Finals. Thank you very much. Tune in next week for more beautiful Team Fortress.